Uh, good evening, Navika, and good evening to my fellow panelists. Uh, first of all, to my very good friend, Mr. Chaudhary. Uh, you know, for him to say that finally Narendra Modi is following the great Nehruvian principle of non-aligned policy. If Mr. Chaudhary thinks that India actually did indeed follow the non-aligned policy and was non-aligned through decades, uh, almost 60, 70 years, if he thinks that, then he is living in La La Land and he must be evacuated immediately. In fact, we should fund some crowdsourcing so we can actually hire a plane and airlift Mr. Chaudhary from this La La Land. What is he talking about? Just two examples. Navika Mithrokin archives in the 1970s, including the ET report in 2017, said authoritatively that one third of Indira Gandhi's cabinet was on the payroll of KGB. He must, I, I'm sure Mr. Chaudhary respects, if not worships Dr. Ambedkar, he must go through with a fine tooth comb his resignation speech, Dr. Ambedkar's of 1951 where he says India is so strongly aligned to China, that is suicidal. It is leading to our ruination. Why is India, why is Nehru batting for China to get the United Nations Security Council seat? What is Mr. Chaudhary talking about? For once, Navika, I must say this, that India has possibly realized that there are, leave alone, no permanent friends. There are no friends at all in today's world. We are on our own. And thank God, and here, Mr. Chaudhary would like me praising Indira Gandhi, and I praise Atal Bihari Bajpayee as well, that we are fiercely independent because we are a nuclear state. Things would have been very different from Ukraine, for Ukraine, had it been a nuclear state. The tragedy in this world is that the world respects only power and strength. Then you can be peaceful. Now let me come to this really sad exhibition of one-upmanship that we are seeing, unfortunately, as far as evacuation is concerned. Uh, I must, uh, in fact, I applaud the Congress because the Congress has uh, sided with the government as far as the United Nations vote is concerned. The Congress has said it is good that the government abstained. Although personally, I don't like abstaining from anything because to be neutral is actually to take sides, but that's besides the matter. For example, I do understand that I as a citizen can criticize and say that India must not have any relations with Saudi Arabia or any dictatorship or barbaric regime, but India can't do that. It's not Anand. It is 1.3 billion people combined. Likewise, look at the hypocrisy of the West, Navika. China has done so much more worse than Russia. So much more. It is a currency manipulator. It is a dictatorship. It stifles free speech. It has concentration camps for Muslims. 1.5 million Muslims are interned. Of course, there are different all, standards, uh, Dr. Anand Ranganathan. And of course, there are different standards. Mr. Chaudhary, Mr. Chaudhary, with due respect, when you're talking yes, sir, of one, earlier evacuations, one, 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 it was not in the... Agreement and the quad. Uh, sir, sir, no, I, I was just about to correct, slightly correct Mr. Chaudhary, my good friend, that when he's talking about evacuation from Kuwait, surely it was a fantastic achievement for India, but it was about many months before the war actually started. Mr. Chaudhary, this is right in the middle of the war. And can you tell me how many senators has America sent, dispatched to Ukraine? How many MPs has UK sent? So, Absolutely. You know, and and, and the fact is, in Kuwait, it took them three months to evacuate all the area, uh, Indians uh, from Kuwait. Well, sometimes facts tell the story, not necessarily the analysis that people want to do based on what's convenient to them. That's where we leave it. But many tonight are saying that it's a Herculean job that the government is doing. There will be stress, there will be some problems that these uh, students will go through because frankly it's war zone. It's not tourism that's happening in Ukraine right now. But in the middle of the adversities, the government standing with every single Indian to bring back the last Indian stranded in Ukraine. And we must keep the faith and continue to pray that each one will return home.